Yo guys, what is up? Splate here back with a new video and today we're going to be teaching you guys how to install mods onto Minecraft. So uh, we're going to be pretty much using uh, Forge to install mods. So this is pretty much a updated video for my pretty much my most popular video on this channel which is how to install uh, mods for Minecraft which I did use um, Forge but I did that video almost about a year ago and since then Forge has been updated several amount of times the website has a new look and there's just a whole new process oh well, not a whole new process but there's some uh, new tweaks and stuff like that so I just want to uh, up kind of update the video and also I want to show you guys how to install multiple mods as well in this video um, so let's get started with the tutorial Alright guys, so the current version of Forge currently is 1.8 I believe and um, as I'm making this video, but if you're watching this in the future and uh, Forge 1.9 has come out or something like that, um, hopefully it's the same process. If not, I'll then make another video on how to install the Forge API for 1.9. But uh, other than that, let's get started with the tutorial. So first thing we want to do is take care of um, some prerequisites before the video. So these will just pretty much include Java. So what I would recommend you doing is is going to your computer and find where it says uninstall or change a program and just go on that and you should be brought up to over here now what you want to do is look for anything with Java in it so here I have a bunch of Java stuff and just pretty much delete or right click and uninstall everything that has Java in it um, trust me we're going to be pretty much updating all of them and when you already have an old version of Java it could create complications and stuff like that and we don't want that so just uninstall anything with Java and you should be good after that then what we want to do is just go to your browser and once you're on your browser you want to go to a Java prerequisite it will be linked down below in the description basically it's just a document and once you come here you should look something like this and we want to first off download the latest version of Java so um, Java update click on that click on free Java download go ahead and install it after that We're going to be moving on onto the Java SE development kit. So just click on the second link Once you're on this page click on accept and look for um, I believe Windows x86 or x64 depending on what version of Windows you have um, I have a 64 bit so I would just download that and install that. After you have done installing that, what you want to do is go to the third link which is the Java SE runtime environment. We're going to click on that and it should take you to this page. Accept the license agreement. Again, same thing, um, x86 or if you have a, I mean, sorry, x64 or if you have an x86 or a 32 bit computer, you would download this one right here and install it. After that, what you want to do is just close out all that and just Make sure you have all those installed because it's really important and it can um, avoid some co uh, conflictions that we might have in the future. And trust me, you are going to get problems. So um, what you want to do after that is just simply go to this website, files.minecraftforge.net. Once you're here, what you want to do is just scroll down, click on show all downloads. And once this pops up, what you want to do is find the latest version, I mean, sorry, find the recommended version. So you would find a version that has the full shaded star, not the half shaded star, because that would be the latest, but find the full shaded star. And then where it has installer-win, we're going to pretty much clicking on the I next to that, and we're not clicking on it, hovering over the I. We're going to click on direct download. And this should start a download, go and save it to wherever you want, and there we go. Now this is this tutorial is only for Windows, um, but you can actually download the installer by itself if you're on a Mac or something like that. So after it has done downloading, we just go to where we saved it, and you should get a icon like this. And what we want to do is right click and run as administrator. Go ahead and click yes, and this should start up the mod system installer. Now if this does not start up or you get some kind of error, um, you pretty much messed up with the Java thing so again just install the Java thing that I mentioned um, I mean uninstalled and reinstall and stuff like that so anyways uh, once this pops up this is your um, installer pretty much so make sure install client is checked and we're gonna pretty much hit OK make sure it has a dot minecraft folder list over here we're gonna hit OK it's gonna start downloading the libraries and installing um, the forge itself now again if you do get errors during this process or you don't get this message right here then something is wrong again with your java so just do all that in the beginning and hopefully you should be good and um so it's successfully installed we're gonna hit okay 
All right, now that we've got the Forge installed, what you want to do is go to back to your browser. Now we're going to be starting to download, you know, all our mods. So um, I'd recommend this website. It'll be linked down below in the description. But once you're here, it should look something like this. And if you click on the list over here, you can see all the versions. So we're going to be using Forge 1.8. So I selected 1.8. But if you did install another version of Forge, you can go down the versions. As you can see, um, 1.7.10 has a lot of mods. But then make sure you've installed um, 1.7.10 of Forge. Forge. So, um, but I have 1.8, so we're going to be uh, just using this. Now I'm going to look for a mod that is uh, Forge required, and um, if you see not Forge required, that will not work. So don't get that. For everything else that has a green tag, it should be good. You can't seem to, you know, find your mods in the list. You can just simply just search for it. So let's go with uh, Craze Furniture mod for this tutorial. We're going to search that and click on. The name this should take you to a minecraft forum from here you're going to have to look for the download um for this he made it really obvious it's right here so we click on that and there we go it should take you to another site then um i guess from here you can click on downloads and there we go we have 1.8 that's what you want or that's what i want because i have forge 1.8 so we're going to click on this download now sometimes um, some sites may take you to a ad fly um, website um, just uh, pretty much just wait for this to go down and just click on skip ad don't click anything else on the page and you should be good after that there we go we have our uh, mod downloaded now usually your mod should be in a dot jar but if it is in a dot var or a dot zip you would probably need winrar or something like that to open it and extract it but we're going to just go ahead and save that go our mod is now downloaded and it should look like this so what you want to do from now is go to your percent app data folder uh, what you do is pretty much go on any folder it does not matter what and we want to click on the address bar right here and type in percent app data percent just like that and hit enter and you want to find your dot minecraft folder i have mine right here and you want to find your mods folder now, if you don't have a mods folder simply just right click new folder and name it mods and uh, you should be good to go into our mods folder here you should have nothing over here um, I have this I don't know why but uh, let's delete those and we're pretty much just gonna drag over the jar file like so after that, that's pretty much all you have to do um, if you want to add another mod just simply repeat the process download whatever mod you want say you want um, Optifine so if I go to Optifine you have to actually find 1.8 there we go uh, go ahead and download that and go and save it to your desktop like so and just pretty much drag it in and you should be good um, with that now pretty much just go ahead and launch your minecraft so i'm just gonna do that and i'll be right back so you're on the launcher screen like so what you want to do is click on new profile and you want to name this forge mods or whatever you want to name that um, space whatever version it is and then um, where it says use version you want to drop that down and look for where it says forge uh, release 1.8 dash forge something 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 uh, version so you want to select that we're going to hit save profile and then we're going to look for our profile we called it forge mod to 1.8 there we go we're going to click on play and we're going to wait for this to start up and there you go once you have gone onto the menu here you should see um, fml and everything like that and it should tell you what mods you have installed and if you see all this that means you have successfully installed forge if you don't see this then you have not installed forge correctly so i'd recommend just pretty much starting all over um, at this point but um, yeah you should also have a mods uh, selection here so we're going to go to our single player world and i'm just going to demonstrate the mods and show that it worked so if we go to our inventory here and search for TV and there we go that's part of craze uh, furniture mod and yeah so that's pretty much it for how to install it with forge now I'm going to be moving over on how to um, install multiple mods at the same time without going through all this hassle so stay tuned for that all right to install multiple mods I've uh, found a program that makes it very simple and it's a mod pack in a way but you'll see later on how it operates so um what you want to do is go to the link down below in the description and it should be called the legacy mod pack and once you're here you want to just click on windows download this should start your download go ahead and save it to where you want and there we go it's done downloading and then just go ahead and open it it should be a zip file so 
you don't need you don't actually need winrar just open it drag the folder out like so there we go then go ahead and open up that folder and you just want to double click on the legacy mod pack or run as administrator and there we go after it opens up you should get a splash screen and then um, we're gonna pretty much going through the installation here so we're gonna click on continue and here you just want to select um, the mods that you want to install now this does have pretty much mods that are limited so you can't it doesn't have every single mod obviously just go through and choose whatever mods you want so um, I don't know let's say I want too many items damage indicator buy them so plenty so let's get all those and hit continue um, if this pops up that means you pretty much have a really good computer or a computer with a lot of RAM so just uh, just check that if it does come up and we hit continue continue again and it's gonna just go through and start downloading all your mods and installing them for you and it should be done just like that and we're gonna hit finish basically just start up your Minecraft and then um, where's this profile you'll have a new profile go down to where it says legacy mod pack choose that one hit play and it should start up and there we go as you can see we have the mods tab right here and if you click on that you can see all the mods that even installed we're gonna hit done and just go into our world and we're pretty much done um, as you can see we have too many items so we have installed the mod pack successfully so I found it so that was a really good program you know that could you know help you install uh, mods from a specific set of mods that is and it it's actually pretty helpful so uh, if this video um, helped you guys leave a like below uh, comment um, any problems you have or anything like that subscribe if you're new until then guys I'll be back with a new video peace